Okay, um, this object, you know, this uh, video is about the uh, use working pivot mode. Now, this is most useful apparently in the sub object level. So, um, let's yeah, but it's useful usually in sub object level, like, you know, like if we wanted to open you know, this trunk, for example, you know, and rotate it, you know, in rotate mode, um, you know, you can see, you know, the pivot point is kind of screwy. <coughs> now, it's possible that we could use the same technique we did to modify the actual pivot on the helicopter that time, but there's another way of doing it, you know, you can edit pivot and, and you know, do this um, edit working pivot mode. So what this does is just creates a temporary pivot, but you got to remember to turn this off when you're done, because you can only have one of these per scene. It's not tied to a fixed, a particular object. Um, but you know you can reset it. Um, you know align to your view, which is already pretty much aligned to our orthographic views, but you can definitely move it uh, around. So you know we can like center right there and it kind of snaps you know I, I guess we have grid snaps or uh, yeah I'm in two and a half D so it's actually using the snap mode from the last um, episode yeah I think that's about right it's about where the trunk is uh, but since I didn't draw this thing I'm not really sure let's see not quite where the trunk is. Yeah, right there. Because <coughs> it is in snap mode, so I guess that comes in handy after all. But at any rate, um, you know, I'm in edit working pivot mode, but you need to switch over to use working pivot mode. And he recommends, you know, that you add it to your your menu. Um, but um, anyway, we can go back in here. We're still on a rotate command. Whoops. The whole car is selected. Um, oh shit, I'm still in this screen. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I can. Oops, man, my pivot's in the wrong damn place, obviously. Weird. Okay, well, let me go back to it. Okay, and edit its position. I don't know, you know, it looked right. Hard to tell though. And that certainly looked like it should be right. Um, mm, no. Still in edit working pivot mode. I'm going to go to use working pivot mode. And we've got our trunk still selected here. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. It's another one of those things that doesn't seem to be working right. You know, that's certainly not a... You know, it doesn't seem to be rotating at about a pivot. No, that doesn't make sense at all. It's definitely changed something, but... <coughs> the working pivot mode is supposed to, you know, set your, you know, transform to the working mode and everything else, you know, through your coordinate system. But, um, I don't know why, I mean, it looks like we got that thing dead to rights, so I'm going to check this out. So what's interesting is if you look at the car itself up here, it's certainly pivoting <laughs> in a, along our pivot, but that trunk doesn't seem to want to work that way for some reason. I must, have, must be doing something a little wrong. But the pivot's right. You know, and like I said, even our gizmo is aligned at the proper place. So, I just don't know why it's, you know, again, another bug in the program is the only thing I can say. Cause that doesn't make the least bit of sense. <clears throat> That's certainly not where it originally was. Um, maybe it's...
place that Hmm, yes, yes, you know, it keeps uh, flipping out of it. <coughs> you know, every time I go into working pivot mode, it, <coughs> you know, keeps stopping out of the trunk. <coughs> That's uh, peculiar. And see, it's not on the proper working pivot now. I don't know what happened to it. You know, you see what it's doing? It's, you know, it's not working right. Huh. Anyway, there, I don't know what's going on with this. Like I said, it doesn't work quite right anymore, but, you know, you can align it to your view. You know, so that actually, with one fell swoop, because of my stamps being on, you know, placed it <coughs> right where I wanted it. You can also align the surface, they said that produces unpredictable results. Um, so, and then, you know, okay, I said use working pivot, but, you know, put it way down here. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <coughs> And notice how my shit changes here um, and here um, when I hit use working pivot. So, again, it's supposed to, you know, work. But, I mean, this is hardly, you know, yeah, it's working up here. You know, it's rotating around that pivot point. Over here, though, that's kind of weird. Sure as hell, it's not rotating about our working pivot. I mean, it moved it over here somewhere. Yeah, but yeah, it's not. It's not working properly. It's not, you know, even working up here properly. Okay, that's that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. <coughs> Ugh, fucking great programming. Okay, see, we're not even sub-object mode. So, you know, let's see if we can select this. And, you know, he didn't have a hard time. Okay, this... Is sort of doing what we wanted it to do. We just got our pivot in the wrong place. Let me go back and see if I can modify it. Right there. Snap we wanted it on. Okay. Edit mode. Okay. Now, go back here and choose our trunk. Nope. Now it's gone back to the. You know, it's it. This this goddamn thing is just so full of fucking bugs. It's not funny. I mean, it's it's. It's sure as hell not working right. But if you go in sub object mode, you know, all bets are off. You know, but that's certainly not in the right place. <clears throat> that's sure as hell not in the right place. That's the original pivot point. You know, I mean, it's not using a working pivot there. 
so you know anyway so another good good command that doesn't work for the shit you know too many bugs in this fucking rip off fucking bullshit